I settled the case in the surrogate's court today. How did it happen? Well, negotiations have been taking place over the past several months. And today's the second uh, court appearance. The reason the court appearance was uh, requested by the other side was uh, in an effort to set up uh, some adversarial proceeding. We had been negotiating, negotiations broke down. The other side said, let's get back on the court calendar. And we agreed. Today, we used the framework of our settlement and with the assistance of the surrogate, that's the judge that presides over the surrogate's court, the surrogate conferenced the case. Then we went outside with the assistance of an attorney that works for the judge, right? That's a law secretary or a court attorney referee in this instance. Um, we went back and forth and the case was settled. Cooler heads prevailed on both sides. Some give, some take, some circumstances, but that's how you settle, right? So uh, I'm asking for a hundred dollars and the other side uh, wants to give 90. Do we always split in the middle 95? No, we might still get the hundred dollars, but we give up something later. Or we get the hundred dollars, but we get it four months from now rather than now, right? So there's always a circumstance. There's always a, uh, uh, a push and a pull. And, and you work within a framework, right? So if, silly example, I'm looking for a hundred dollars, but if I'm looking for a hundred dollars and it costs me $50 to get it, well then maybe I back away. Maybe $90, $90 costs me, I don't know, $2 to get. So in effect, I netted more. So it really depends, right? That's, that's how you have to look at, uh, often enough you have to look at situations, cool and calm in a dispassionate manner. And uh, you take into account the, uh, well, the other side's arguments, your arguments, what could be demonstrated, <laughs> what are you looking for and what is, what is it that you can achieve with less involvement of the court. So for both sides today, if we had not made the settlement, there would have been uh, written work on both sides, uh, a motion from the other side to exact, extract <laughs> some, some relief from the court. We would have opposed that. There would have been argument on it and then possibly even uh, a hearing on that aspect. Now, would that have given the other side uh, an amount closer to what they were looking for? Possibly. Would it have given my client less than what they were supposed to get? Probably. Whereas we were able to take in all of that information and then resolve it. In a way, I think very favorable for both sides. We were, we are able to proceed to dispose of property and then divide it. And so there's no more uh, controversy about who can sell and the, uh, the numbers, the amount that the other side was looking for, uh, we were able to uh, consent to an agreement, uh, to, to a, uh, a stipulated amount. So victory for all sides, right? Really a win-win-win. Win. I don't know if there are three people involved, but win, win for all, win for all and all for win.